Burgermeister Burger. Baron Ambrosia, let's see. Last time I saw you, you were being marched to the gallows outside of Mogadishu. Yes, well, I told the headsman that I had tasted your mother's sour brotten, and he let me go in an insanity plea. <laughs> yes, well, as usual, I came away with the prize, and you came away with nothing. Actually, I did come away with a bad case of Oh, you mean Mogadishu? Whatever did become of the golden cow rub camel hump of Marka? It is where it belongs, in my private museum in my Baltic Island readout. You need to learn that the food is for the people to taste, not for the elite to fawn over. You never did understand what it means to be a quaffer of culinary consciousness. I wonder what your peasant friends would think if I told them how you were shamefully excommunicated from the League of Quaffers. Unless you want size 12 gator on your epiglottis, you will find your way to the border of my burrow with great haste. When I'm finished, there will be nothing left of your precious Bronx. <laughs> It'd be nearly impossible to discuss Uzbeki cuisine without thinking of this legendary Bronx establishment. It's no longer there. When the Baron needs a fix for some BX Bangladeshi, there's only one chef I go to who gets it right every time. And apparently he's out of a job. Many of my favorite Bronx haunts were gone. But what struck me as the most peculiar was they weren't just closed. Someone had taken the time to move them brick by brick. As darkness fell, I, I fled in overwhelming desperation to 174th Street and Jerome Avenue in hopes that this endemic epidemic had not befallen my sweet lusty night queen, the Chimmy Truck. And thank Damala, there she sat in all her glowing neon majesty, lending the crisp night's air an ambrosial hint of her delicate wares. Now most Chimmy Trucks open at 8 p.m. and serve a number of savory Latin dishes to diners throughout the night and early morning hours. The namesake sandwich, however, is a long, heavily seasoned beef patty served on a personal-sized French bread known as pan de agua. Numerous Dominican spices, spreads, and mounds of crispy cabbage help to differentiate this burger from any others you may have had. Now, some will argue that the most important part of the chimney process is the pressing of the sandwich on a hot grill. This transforms the soft, airy bread into a dense, crunchy vessel that gives the chimney its substantial brick-like weight. Every regular has their own preferences on what makes a perfect chimney. I usually get mine topped with either chorizo or sizzling chunks of the rich blood sausage known as morcilla. I call this creation the Super Grown Folks Burger. It sounds much cooler in Spanish. El Rincón is a family-run business that is as well known for their delicious foods as for their infectious positive energy. I meet up with chimney boss Daniel Espinal for an exclusive interview. Hello. Es un secreto de un buen chimi. Como un buen chimi, un pan bien totado, una carne bien sazonada, un repollo bien sazonado, los gravy, lo que sea, gravy, y sajía de chimi, y la plancha bien totado, con mucho cariño, mucho amor para los clientes. ¿Quiénes son tus clientes? Mis clientes regularmente son latinos. Pero vienen muchos americanos, americanos por aquí, como tú verás, pasa mucho americano negro y americano blanco, mucho en la tarde, los weekends, siempre. Everybody, everybody compra el chimi. I like everybody chimi. ¿Cuáles son tus aspiraciones para el futuro de tu negocio? Hey, acabo de vender este negocio a un coleccionista. Yeah, muy, y voy, a, parece mucho a ti. 
y le interesó mucho. Y acabo de, de negociar con él. Todo hizo sentido. Solo un worthless cad puede estar haciendo todos estos Bronx culinary landmarks desaparecer. Cuando estoy finalizado, no habrá nada más de tus precios preciosos Bronx. Burgomeister. Now, Burgermeister had not been in the Bronx long enough to realize that when you tamper with a man's chimney spot, you are taking your life into your own hands. Fisticuffs on the top of this baby. Cool autumn breeze in our hair. Exotic fabric slamming against cold steel. Yeah. You know, you do have a point. Uh, you want to, uh, a few, few minutes maybe? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I just gotta run a quick. Yeah. It's good? Of course. Okay. Yeah. Break. Protecting our culinary landmarks, well, it's a cross I proudly bear. Because whether you're a wild party monster or just an honest Joe working the late shift, the chimney truck is always there. There's something delicious for you to chew. Because this is Baron Ambrosia, helping bring out the Bronx flavor in you. Yeah! yeah!